I'm gripping on that grain, niggas showing for chain. Mm. Got the boy Carlos Miller, these like we gone insane. Out that brain, I'm out that dome, better yet, I'm out that beater. I'm about to come through, yeah, your bro call me beater. Yeah, I be the better for cheddar, ready, rocking for better. Come on. I mean, I come up on that track, I mean, I'm rapping for cheddar. Mm. I mean, cheddar game, I'm whipping, wood grain, I'm gripping. L.A. like Robert Ory, H-Town, I'm dripping. dripping. Cocaine, I'm tipping on. Bitches on my cell phone, Man, they, they calling me all, all around. Nigga, no, I switch my See, phone. See, I done jumped up in the H, but I'm really from the A. And yeah. I been riding around all day trying to see where Beyonce stayed. Hey, but nobody even tell me. They saying that she was married. That's okay, I got this sick chick who make a nice salary. Yeah. yeah. And she watching all the bitches in her calories. Yeah. She want me all up in her alleyway. Yeah. Hey, and I'm hitting that bitch annually. Sometimes yeah. she like to grab the dick and jerk that bitch manually. Woo! And you know that I'm so crazy. The type of nigga snaps big game to all the ladies. Right. Pull out so I don't make a lot of babies. Yeah. yeah. Man, I got all the bitches looking at me crazy. They looking at me crazy. They looking at me sideways. Yeah. Balling in this bitch and got them boys in the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smoking on the weed. Yeah. Never ever bat my Cali living out. But see, I'm born to lose the hell. Yeah. Watch me when I rip. Watch me when I step. Throw it in the air. You bitches ain't ready yet. No. Yeah. I'ma come through. Yeah. Okay. I'ma just slam. Yeah. Uh, nigga seen that set? Nigga ripped on Def Jam. Okay. Nigga ripped okay. on so Def Jam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. say he ripped on Def Jam. What'd he do? Yeah. He say he ripped on Def Jam. What'd he, what he do? They said, you ripped on Def Jam. Come on, now. Mm. You know what it is. Man. Man, we always talking a whole bunch of shit, man. That's, That's why a lot of don't, shit. That's why people don't like us that much. They don't. You know. We back up in this thing, man. <laughs> we back up in this thing, man. Hey, hold up, boy. Happy New Year. First Everybody. of all, yeah. man, I just pulled the pussy hair out from earlier. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear, that's how you know the show about to start. That's how you open the show right yeah. there. You hey, man, hold on. Before we do anything, hey, man, goddamn, we miss y'all. <laughs> goddamn, Simon? Ernest? We missed you. Yeah, God feel like nigga, we got our real teacher back. <laughs> you have been, you been, you been, you been this bitch for three months. And we got our real teachers back. Nigga. She had that baby and came back. Nigga, she came back, nigga. So much didn't happen. Listen, I lost my phone. I told you I lost my phone. Yeah. Your brother hit me when I lost my phone, by the way. Yeah. Your brother hit me random as fuck, nigga. Just random. He said, hey, man. Yeah, damn I heard his brother. I was like, Oh, okay, cool. Hey, man, watch. Did you miss me, man? Love what y'all doing. Y'all boys keep doing y'all thing. All right, cool. I respond. Hey, man, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Right back in it. Hey, man, listen, man. Uh, just want to let you know, man. Um, I wrote a joke for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at wow. Here it go. He laid on me, and I was like, okay, maybe he's a writer. He's, he says he's Ernest's brother. Mm -hmm. Ernest is a writer. Maybe he's a writer. Told the Ernest, Ernest, that nigga don't do nothing. <laughs> he said, do nothing. And Ernest said, you asked him, what you told him? This nigga, I told him, I told him, nigga, I, I know you. <laughs> Your brother. That mean you inspired him. It's inspired the shit out of him. But I got to do something for this nigga. <laughs> so check it, I lose my phone. Because I'm wilding on New Year's Eve. I'm in Phoenix. I got a gig in Phoenix. And I'm wilding. Shout out to hot ass Phoenix. Hot, hot. I'm hot feeling fuck. good about it. This is how I leave the club. This is how I leave it was. I call me an Uber. I'm lit. It ain't that hot around this time of year. It ain't in, in Arizona. It ain't, ain't Arizona. It's kind of cool. I got my shirt off. Right. My shirt off. It's hoes around. That just let you know it's some hoes around. I know. I'm drunk. Oh, but it's some hoes around. It's damn sure some hoes around. I know, because niggas ain't going to just take their shirt off just because they hot. There's some, you hot, but it's some hoes around. I get it. Yeah, they, they, they was around. So I'm feeling good about myself. I'm trying to get this Uber boy to me. He can't get to me. What, what time is it? It's about 2.30 in the morning. Oh, you done got out the club and then... I'm out the club. I'm lit. Trying to get in this Uber. He can't get to me. So I'm all in the middle of the street, no shirt on, like, hey, man, you can't miss me. I ain't got no shirt on. He was missing you on purpose. Little Mexican man missing me. Finally, man, caught to you, got to me. I said, listen, man, I'm on 4%. I need to charge my phone. Cool. Charge my phone. I sit it there. I got like a 30-minute ride. I'm like in Chandler, Arizona. Oh, wow, that's nice. I'm like in Chandler, Arizona. So I ride to Chandler, Arizona, fall asleep, wake up in the Uber. Hey, man, thank you. 
get out the Uber, go upstairs, get undressed and say, oh shit, left my phone in a little Mexican dude car. The Mexican dude gone. I said, fuck, I'm too lit. I go to bed, wake up in the morning. First thing I'm gonna do, get in touch with the Uber, get the little dude to bring my shit back. You ain't even think to call the bitch. Can't call it. Too lit. Too lit. Can't call that when you that lit. Mm-mm. Can't call shit when you that lit. Mm. So I said, fuck it, man. <clears throat> Give me a little rest. Wake up in the morning, go downstairs on the computer, pull up my shit, contact Uber. Uber's like, hey, man, we're going to get to the driver to contact you. We're going to bring you your shit. My man calls me back. He said, my friend, you leave something in your car? I said, yeah, I left my phone in the car. Ah. Uh, Oh, what your phone look like? I said, it's a black iPhone. Uh, I have a lot of people I, I know remember you. I said, you got to remember me. I ain't had no shirt on when you picked me up. Everybody you picked up all night had shirts on. I know they did. <laughs> I know everybody had a shirt on. I ain't got no shirt on. You got to remember me. My friend, I go check. He go check, come back. No, my friend can't find your phone. I said, fuck. So I go to the find my phone. iPhone got that find the phone, find my phone. Located my phone. My phone is in Guadalajara, Mexico. How, nigga? You bullshitting, bro. <laughs> On my life. Damn, in one day? My phone is in Mexico. Nah, man, hell no. Nah. My phone is in fucking Mexico. I'm like, how the phone? Fuck this. Call Sprint. Hey, Sprint. Listen, lost my phone. I located it. Let me say, you located it? Yes, I found it. It's in Mexico. It's in Mexico. I said, yes, it's in Mexico. So what do I need to do? He said, well, you know where it is? I said, yeah. He said, can you go get it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Sprint. <laughs> hey, bro, now that happened. Oh, my luck. Sprint said that, bro. Yeah. Can you go Plus, get it? I said, sir, I'm in the United States. <laughs> I gotta get a passport to go get my phone. Not that I don't have one. These are the criteria that you're asking me to have in order to go get my phone. I said, listen, I just need somebody to help me shut it down. I don't wanna have to deal with none of this shit. I want y'all to do it on y'all end. He said, well, I don't understand if you know how, where it is, why you can't. I said, man, I'm gonna get off the phone this motherfucker because he's really gonna get it. <laughs> my phone is in fucking Guadalajara, Mexico. Dude. Guadalajara, Mexico. All right, what was you drinking, dog? Everything. Oh. Everything that they put in my head. It, went, it was a party. So you had a good time? It was a, that's, a, that's an understatement. Dog, this is fucking crazy. Good time is an understatement. Oh, this, dog, this, this is an understatement some, on delay, though, right now. This is some... Does not surprise me. Hangover type shit, dog. Everything. This is, this is his life. I'm drinking everything. So I said, fuck this. This boy didn't piss me off on his phone, telling me to go to Mexico to get my goddamn phone. I'm going to the Sprint store. I need to talk to somebody. <laughs> Get it so you store. took that thing in your face. It's a normal day in the Sprint store. Oh, it's man. packed as fuck, and ain't nobody getting helped. Just nobody. a normal day in Sprint. You know how everybody getting help. Nobody. Just sitting around, looking around. You always see a motherfucker, one, one or two Sprint reps just sitting around. Y'all ain't doing shit. Hey, help somebody, bitch. Y'all just be sitting around here. They trying to tell an old lady what an yeah. auto box is. We'll be right with right. you. <laughs> yeah, keep your phone safe. <laughs> fuck that old ass lady, man. Man, help me. I get in there. Do you have a pink one? <laughs> <laughs> so I get to the counter. It's an older lady and her daughter. Oh, shit. Sitting right there. It's a young black dude helping me. I say, hey, my man. Not this time. I'm trying to talk calm because I'm mad. I walked up. I said, I really need you to help me, Darren. I need you. How can I help you? I said, I lost my phone last night in Chandler, Arizona. I found it. It's in Mexico. The old lady started laughing. She yeah, already know what they about to say. She laughing. She said, baby, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not trying to be in your business. But how your phone get in Mexico, baby? I said, ma'am, that's why I'm in the Sprint store. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why it's there and why can't nobody help me. Right. So I said, sir. Sprint not gonna help you, no way. Why? Would he, one of your, one of your people, another rep told me that I found it. Why can't I go to Mexico and get it? Now the whole staff is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole goddamn staff. Sound like some, I've been in there. I know the, I know the adventures. Whole goddamn staff is laughing. Nigga, I am, I'm, I'm getting pissed, right? So I said, listen, 
I need to get a new phone. Got to get a new phone right now. Nah, you got to yeah. go to the insurance company. Right. Fuck! You got to go through this whole insurance shit. Because it's oh, iPhone. Sure. They told you to go to the Apple store. Yes. That's what Sprint do. Yeah. Then when you get to the Apple store, they be like, well, shit. You got to go to the Sprint store. What the fuck y'all hear from? Y'all sending me on a goose chase. Because they going to ask you some shit that you don't fucking know. They be like, well, we'll ask you your security question. What size is your left thumb? What? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> well, they ask you some shit that's, that you know for sure. What's your hometown? And then you tell them, like, nah, ain't it. <laughs> you that gotta go it. to the Sprint nah, store. Nah, nah, it don't is. matter what happened. Don't if matter you what you the Sprint store, your ass going to the Apple store. And when you get to that Apple store, you going back to that damn Sprint store. That's in. just facts. That's just what they got me doing. So this motherfucker sent me to the Apple store. The, same, the Apple store sent me back to the Sprint corporate store. <laughs> You don't go back to the one you went. Don't go that's back to the, a, that's a franchise. That's a, don't fuck with you it. Right. Don't go, go to the franchise. You right. gotta go to you corporate. You gotta go to a corporate thing. <laughs> yeah. So they got me going all over. So meanwhile, I got Juan's number, my Uber driver. Yeah. I got his number, and I'm blowing this motherfucker up because I ain't saying he stole, he stole it. To do with it. But, he but he's stole Mexican. It. Yeah. And it's, it's I ain't saying he stole it, but he's Mexican. And it's in Mexico. And it's in Mexico. So the shit is really. You don't know who, who, be, who he picked up after you. I don't year. know who you picked up. And where so you drop off at? I call him back. Now he getting sick of my shit because right. he keeps seeing the same number. Because I'm back to back on his ass. I'm calling his ass back to back, and I'm calling him from everybody number. Guys, excuse me. Can you use your phone? I lost my phone. And I'm just calling anybody that I can see him just because he once he know it, a number. It, it's a different. He know it's me on his ass. So finally he he said, my friend. I know see your phone. You 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 keep calling. And I say to you, you don't listen to me. So I I I say again to you. I I want to help you you find your phone, but I no help you. So uh uh, don't call, okay? <laughs> he, he Hang up you. the phone. He's he done, done with me. He's done with me, man. He's, He's sick done. of my He's shit. He's tired of your shit. He's sick of my oh, shit. But you fucking around. Him, man. So fuck it, man. I'm walking back. I'm defeated. I don't have no goddamn phone. Nothing. I didn't been to the Sprint franchise store. I didn't been to the Sprint corporate store. I didn't been to Apple. I didn't been everywhere. On foot. Cause you gotta keep in mind, I ain't got. I can't call no goddamn Uber. Nothing. Cause I ain't got no phone. Yeah, shit. I'm lost. I don't have shit. <laughs> You are, you are, uh, uh, lost, lost, lost. I'm fucking lost. Nigga, you I'm are. I'm walking. I got like a four, five mile walk back to my hotel you and it's cold. Nigga. You're an indigenous person. I'm pretty much that. I'm pretty much that. I get to my hotel, I see a Uber pulling up. Bro. A Uber is pulling up. I'm like, it's not the same goddamn Uber that I got of last night. I'm praying. I'm like, please let that be it. Dude, get out. He's helping the lady get the luggage out. I see him. It's the same dude. It's one, the goddamn Uber driver from the other night. But he don't see you yet. He don't see me yet. I look at him. One noticed me. One looked at me in my face, right dead in my eye, and said, "Did you miss me? God damn it! (laughs) Shit! We around the world. Carlos Miller is in the building. Ah!" This yeah. nigga. He here. Cause I'm thinking, this side I'm, nigga I'm looking here. at this nigga like, ain't no motherfucking way. Whoever did my nigga like this in Arizona, <laughs> use a mother. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, His phone really is in Mexico. Really in Mexico. I, Cause I couldn't talk to him for fucking two days. Mm-hmm. Almost three days. I hit him no. finally. I talked to him. I said, what's up, D? He said, who is this? I said, it's Bruh. me. Bruh. He said, I ain't got no numbers, Billy. I ain't I got thought, no numbers. I thought, I'll Juan, send this person, I thought Juan was going to fuck you up on some asshole shit. Like, like the passenger getting out the, the back seat and he looking out the passenger back door and look at you. <laughs> what about my leg, Charlie Murphy? <laughs> <laughs> Just some dumb ass yeah. shit, bro. Man, you niggas. Man, you killed that shit. Boy, you, the ultimate side nigga. The ultimate side nigga. Bro, that, that shit how did you? Up. When did you become inducted into the side nigga hall of fame? Bro, this is what happened, bro. I graduated high school about 01. Mm-hmm. So from 01 to 02, I was really, I, I didn't want to go to school right quick. So I just was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want to for a year and then see how I feel. And then it was like, two, oh, one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one and a half is when I founded my institution. Mm. And I don't, I'm, I'm when I say side, I ain't include nobody but myself, but there's a whole lot of niggas out there that be relating to my, like the shit I'm saying. 
side niggas an institution, bro. We ain't start making a profit or like have some direction with this shit to really like O2. <laughs> O2? O2? The shit I was doing in my, like. Is that I, when y'all became When did you know it was profitable? O2. O2. When did, you, when did y'all become incorporated? O2. 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 It, it, it was like 01, 01 and a half is really where I was like, damn, it's something to this shit. But the, so it's a lonely life, and that yes. people want the shit to be glamorous, but sometimes it ain't glamorous. It's all about personal glamour. It ain't all about the outside glamour. Sometimes you really just you really just out here thugging. Now let me ask you now. You, it takes a lot of lonely. confidence. It's, you know, like you said, it is lonely at the top. Mm -hmm. You know, it's lonely at the top. It's lonely at the bottom. Anything that you're doing good gonna be lonely because you good at it, and you so good at it. Other people can't relate to what you're doing because you in tune with the shit that you're doing. Yeah. And it's just because you some you know how sometimes you can do some shit so good you make other people believe that they can do it. Oh man. You made it look it's so easy. It's the illusion. The illusion that it's easy. But that's the work. The work is to create the illusion. Oh. I see what's happening. You Sounds see. like it was some uh some a little bit of heartache, then a, a, a renowned sense of purpose. It's always heartache. No, nah, it's not even heartache. It's just about knowing where your rewards are. Mm. 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 What you? How did you find that first set of rewards? Like, what was the situation? It's in? not about. It's not like you find the gold at the end of the rainbow. You, you start setting your own personal goals so mm. you can have your own rewards. Mm. It's not a because you like if you're gonna put so if you're gonna sacrifice so much, you gotta be paid in some form or fashion, whether it's financial or personal or feeding to your greed or your ego or your whatever it is that you feel like you are getting from the situation. That's what you gonna. That's the, that's the reward. Now, was it ever a woman <clears throat> who who induct and in, introduced you to your side niggerdom, like that said, hey, I got somebody. But I want you to be somebody else to me as well. But see, that's the smooth part about the whole shit. It don't never work like that. Mm. It's not like that shit is so that that sounds so easy. Mm. It don't never work like that. Mm -mm. It never works like that. It's, it, it's never that, bro. But if you if you if you're the type of nigga and you in tune with yourself, you don't worry about what the fuck everybody else is doing. Mm. You live in your own world, so to speak. Mm. So when whatever come through your motherfucking trap, that's what it is. It's like when you a fucking grizzly bear. Shit, you might not have planned to eat fish today, but you just so happened to be walking through the woods and came upon this stream, and these fish don't give a fuck. They just jumping up out the stream. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you hogging a motherfucker. You was about to, you was going to fuck with a turkey or some shit. Right. But you, it's right there. Mm. Ain't nobody looking. You might get wet doing it, but what what's the reward? You know, uh, you can have a turkey tomorrow. You know, you a young, wise, old ass young nigga. But see, this the thing: the shit that I'm saying sounds so loose and off the frame to the niggas who might be listening. They don't even get what I'm saying. No, no, no. no. For them, if they don't get. No, no, no. It. You 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 taking me to a place, Los. You taking me back, and you making me re realize and recognize my first time. Facing that side nigga. Bro, you been a, that's what I'm saying. You been a side nigga before. I don't think I've been a side nigga. That's the no, thing, I bro. I, not, not, not willingly. I don't know if I've you, willingly been one. That's hey. the male ego not letting you. You think you the I, only no, nigga? I, no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that I've, I, I'm not, I've never signed up saying, okay, this is what I'll do. I'm not saying I've never, I've never been him. Didn't I tell I you? I've never signed up. Didn't I tell you that it don't work like that? It don't, you don't if sign you up. Decide, well, bro, I don't know the But listen, the, the, if you being a side nigga for a chick that you could just have, on the regular, mm -hmm. what the fuck you doing that for? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying be out here risking your fucking family values and your moral code for a six, for a seven. Bro, we talking goddamn eights with no makeup on. Hey man, wake up eights. You yeah, ever heard of a wake up, up eights? Wake up eights. Bro, this, this, listen, this, this, this the cold part on, about a wake up eight. She, she'll wake up eight, but she a 10. If she fix herself together. That's a problem. That's the crazy part about. All she gotta do is wet her hair. That's the crazy part about tens, though. Tens be tens all the way around. It don't matter if this bitch dye her hair, cut her hair, lose some weight, gain some weight, get pregnant, uh, have two kids. She's still fine through all this shit. She just just steps through. Right. She, she moves through that. Exactly. And and you know that you know what first did it for me. 
first did it for me that, that walked me right into it. It was the middle part of my freshman year. Uh, See. I, it was midsummer. Uh-huh. And it was a girl that, that came to our school. Uh, she was actually somewhere else for the first part of the semester. And this next part of the semester, she comes in and she's in my political science class. Come political on. science 231. I'm in the class. And I've noticed she's got a kind of camaraderie with everybody in my class. Come to find out, because I go to TSU. Go ahead. She went to Yates. Okay. So she's a third ward native. Right. Like, did a third ward her whole life. Went to elementary, junior high, high school, now college. Right. Fantastic student. So she got And she cold. She already she got She chicken. been here grown woman. Yeah, she was, yeah, she was a, she was a, uh, she y'all was a laughing. lioness. Y'all laughing because y'all know what grown woman pussy She had is. grown woman pussy since she was in high school because she went to Yates. Because grown niggas would fuck them when they was. Oh, that, that's the school where they was fucking them girls. They was coming back. Bruh, that's every school. No, that's that's a lot of schools. <laughs> that's every school. Every, pretty much. And we really need to address it. <laughs> because we grown. We and I know grown. I know that I know y'all niggas. And I know that our generation skipped that whole ride by the high school shit. Yeah. Like yeah, that shit we did. died with us. Like nigga. Because I know when I was in high school. I senior, hated them niggas. Yeah. Really when I was in eleventh grade. I snuck, well, I was, I'm from a college town, so I snuck into the college pussy early. Mm. And once you get some real world pussy, high school pussy is like, man, go on with this shit. I'm, <laughs> this shit childish, this sneak. <laughs> like, you know, high school when you sneaking and fucking. Yeah. After the football game, you gotta be home in an hour and a half. Come on, let's fuck for 30 minutes and I'll take you home. That shit. But then when you get some real world pussy, at her apartment, her dorm room, where you can fuck and be world. naked and like, yeah. and like coming in this bitch. <laughs> the first time you get some head on the couch. Yeah. Come on, man. When you get like the grown man fucking. You know how your heart beat fast because you know you was gonna go over there. Yeah. That you 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 learn how to calm that because yeah. the pussy could happen at any moment. You know, in high school, your your, your shit beating fast. Right. Come I on, gotta man. get this to mapping right now. Come on, man. Blood pumping. See, shit change. She 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 change. had me too, Los. I she know. had me, cause I, cause she look good with a headscarf on. That's when I, when I started getting this, into that phase. This one thing that'll fuck you up. When you find a woman who got that pretty ass hair that go all the round, all the way around the base. Oh man, <laughs> the base. They call it edges, but it ain't just edges, cause it's some women out here who got that little curl right under the ear that's sexier than the motherfucker. I like you that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. Like the she port- don't even know it's out. I know you it's love. Just out. She ain't trying to do that. That's just out. You fuck with the Spanish chicks, the little, the little curly sideburn, mm-hmm. not the Shanti sideburn. Yes, the, the little, sideburn. the little uh, Hispanic uh, Latin community sideburn. Man, look, yeah, that, that right there make you not want to. Come on, man. And I and and, and I, I'm telling you, fellas, you know, when I seen this thing in close combat, it was close combat at first. Started with just trying to get her to come over to go over the shit for class. But that was really just to see if I could get it by myself. Mm-hmm. I, I was, I had perfected that. I got that down. Got that. So you pitch her? Yeah. I'm, oh yeah. I'm already. I ain't asking no questions. Right. She's so fine. I don't care if you got a nigga. You know, most times you be like, you got a nigga. I didn't care. Don't ask. Hold up. I'm not gonna ask. That's the gateway. That is the gateway. That's where it all starts. It did start it right there. You see that I didn't mind ask. frame that you in? I didn't care. I do not care, care what you I will have be whatever. going on. You remember what I said about living in your own bubble? Mm-hmm. Don't none of that other shit apply. Mm. You do not care about don't none of the real world shit apply when you in, when you in that mind frame like whatever this bitch got going on I want some of that shit <laughs> she can tell she can tell me that she's a motherfucking Russian spy <laughs> I'm about to tell this bitch some shit I'm not gonna tell on my folks but I'm gonna tell on some shit whatever this bitch got going on I'm, I'm a part some. of it if she trying to I open up in. a goddamn in and out I know a nigga with some potatoes like I just want whatever she got going on hey she she had me in and so uh we hanging out, we going to class, we doing work together, we kicking it. Took me about a week and a half, four times of studying. I was pressing, but wasn't smashing. Finally, I didn't have to do no pressing. We came right over after class, right to my dorm, and it was, it's going down. Right. Now, I'm a, I'm a raw dog bandit at this point in my life. Right. She's every time saying, no, 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 wait. No, you got to get a condom. It, it is like a no... It is, it is no negotiations. It is none of that. I got to stop you right there because just not because I'm hating, just because the climate that we in right now and where you're going with the story, you're about to leave some of that out because, 
You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying. It's, if we would have, if you would have told this story eight months ago, you could have told that motherfucker however you wanted to. But where you, I would just before we even get crazy, I don't want nobody manipulating nothing and try to make you seem like a bad person or nothing. Because I, I feel where you going, and I know what you about to say, just for the sake of what we all doing. Let's just not do it. <laughs> oh, I get, say what you say. No, no, no. Come on. No, this is this is consensual. This is a consensual situation. <laughs> there it goes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There it goes. See, you that's know what the, I'm talking about. That's the key word. She would have the disclaimer I, out there. I, I got the a word. Okay, did that. All right, I understand what you say. Right. But once what you I'm said saying, you said it two times, and I was like, come on, bro. You know, <laughs> like she letting you. Hey, <laughs> one more time. <laughs> then it, then it ain't consensual. <laughs> Hey. Hard. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. I want you to win. Like, you got it. All you got to do is just be good. I got to clear it up. So, so I go I go get this cardinal. I go get this cardinal. And it's going down. But he threw strikes, though. No. I'm all headed. Yeah, I'm all headed. Give me a fact. I need you to back up for a second. Now, you said you was a raw dog bandit. Let me get that. That means he was doing Let me get that for a second. I don't want that to be thrown out there loosely. He was on the run. Dude. I don't want that to be thrown out there because he's telling y'all he's been out there loose lanking. <laughs> and you niggas hey. just up right past the loose lanking. No, hey. no, no. We're going to address the loose Bruh, lanking. Bruh, hold up. This was about 01. This was 01, 02, though. This was times were simpler then. Loose lanking. Times were simpler. It was very simple. It was time not complicated. It wasn't that type of way. Cash Money Records had already <laughs> took over. <laughs> uh, that was in full control. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Hey, the hot boys are killing <laughs> shit. Squad up is nowhere to even be Come found. Oh man, this little so Louisiana. Ten females. Eight. I mean, I'm getting sure. that raw like eight. Seven, <laughs> seven, eight. You eighty percent raw dog. Eighty percent. Eighty percent, and this is off the rip. Oh. Oh. Eighty twenty all B. You got eighty twenty. <laughs> okay, y'all laughing. Y'all fucked up, bro. <laughs> I, I remember, bro. I remember this time. This is at a time where did nobody have AIDS but Magic Johnson and Pedro from the Real World. Them was the only two. Magic Johnson, Pedro from the Real World. That's it. You couldn't catch it. Nigga. Oh shit! So look, hey man, I go get them. I get them. The rubbers, man. It's going okay. down. Right. I mean, it is going. We back to back. It is. It is serious. We go three solid months of every day. So you, I can. I'm, you in there. I'm in there every day. Now she at my house or I'm down at her house. But so, we over there every day. So really this your unspoken girlfriend. Look. We all at a time right she, now. She I was going with her. <laughs> she wasn't going with me. Oh. But it but this is what I'm saying. She was that spending too. that time. It was cause it was so cool. We we laughed. We talked so much. We never confirmed the relationship. Right. It was just and when I had to do something, I am going to do this and I'll be back then. It was all voluntary. What, but no, do, but where do you, you see going? how you were abused, though? You see how you're making excuses for the way she treated you? Yeah. That's a sign yeah, of it, it all, it, it all, uh, it all is happening. So I'm going to tell you when it first hit me. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thanksgiving, it was time, you know. Now, she, throughout the course of time, because I live in Houston. You I'm be having some rough-ass Thanksgivings, too. <laughs> By the way. Yeah. You got to have Thanksgiving. Nah, off the bro, I've been knowing this nigga for a long time. And one, one thing that every time he share information, he let these hoes treat him any kind of way. <laughs> 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 but then he be judging me for being like side nigga of the year. But he just let these hoes just <laughs> run him about. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga let them hoes run him about. They run about. a mock. They run about <laughs> mock on this. They run to Boston on this they nigga. They run to Boston. <laughs> yeah, they, they all run about. Running about. Oh, they all run about. Shit, so no. I'm, I'm, it's Thanksgiving. Oh, shit. She, listen, she go, uh, she go to Lily Grove. I, this is a church in Houston. Yeah. I, I go to Windsor Village. We 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 go in a lot different of villains church. involved with Yeah, you. yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. I'm I'm fucking up. Right. I'm fucking up. You keep on, he gonna cry. You just keep on in this story. <laughs> keep listening no. to the story. There's gonna be a tear. I can just feel he's it. He's the type of he ain't drunk enough of that shit. Deep, okay. deep. This, not, 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 not right now on the set. In this story, he it, it, it could be a tear in no, there. It could be a tear in there. Ain't no crying. So so head. so I'm 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 excited about Thanksgiving because my mama, she cooking, she throwing down, you know. I'm in, I'm in Houston, where I'm from, so, right, you know, right, right. us, she done met people in my family. Mm-hmm. She done met my mama, she done met my sisters and Damn, shit. Bro. Pops done came by the house and seen over there. His first person, <laughs> I didn't have to really hide. 
Like, yeah, she stayed over. Yeah, she's staying over again tonight. This is business. Right. Bro, before, I hate like I hate to keep interrupting, mm -hmm. but he hitting so many points mm -hmm. that need to be highlighted. It's like once you get grown, you realize that your mama really don't like meeting your hoes, but she do like knowing that you like hoes and what kind of hoes you like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like so it's so like, real. It's a little bit of it's a little bit of sense of pride, like where your mama can she gonna sit back and talk about you like you a nigga. I'm like, yeah, he, he be running them hoes all through here. <laughs> <laughs> like, she needs some shit to say about you in this position. Yeah. So your duty as a son, like, you don't bring all your hoes nah, to you meet don't. your mama. But it's some of them that just got qualities to be like, mama, I'm on some bullshit. But this a good girl. Yeah. I know I'm just letting you know yeah. that I'm out here treating good girls bad too. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Nigga, I'm at that age where we can say this shit. This, <laughs> we at the disclosure age. Hey, you gotta disclose it. Right. Say your shit. Say your shit. Say your so your truth. mama can come home and say, I saw that uh what's a what's that girl name? That crazy one that be calling. Uh, yeah, I, we was at Walmart. She walked me to the car. Then you be like, damn, damn. I need to call, call her. My and old hoe. She's saying that to you, so you will call her. Right. She throwing it off the glass to Your you. Your mama she letting you know. She probably say, you know he ain't got nobody. Right. He's still running around. Your mama letting you know that even out in the community, that your hoes is out there and they respect make her you. as your mama. Woo. When she get that type of treatment, it make her feel good inside. Right. So you feel why I had yeah, yeah. Oh, interject no, 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 no. right there. You said it. And, right. and my old man. He was the same way. That pride level right. was there. But now, I see, this one thing about fathers, though. Your fathers recognize the hoes that like you before you even start mm -hmm. really being in the hoes like that. Like, son, go on and get her. And you're like, no, daddy, she ain't. You know, you ain't man going with that. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. your daddy be trying to put you just up on hoes in general. But you're like, daddy, like, I know who to be. Yeah, you don't know yet. You just see hoes in a, you no, know, that ain't what it is, Pop. Let me show you what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> and then later on, your daddy be like, okay, I see what you did. That's what that, that's where that come from. Yeah. Cause he'd be like, I seen it come back around. You see I've been around. told you that she really liked you like that. You y'all at it. the age where y'all can be grown and be social. <laughs> Proud of you, son. <laughs> it's the same with both parents. Your mama need to know that you got hoes. And your daddy need to know that you're listening to him to get them. So, so, so you see what I'm saying when I'm telling you about that pride ship. You know, when you say, you say that, man, when fathers, they, they know it. They right. see it. And they happy to see you in it. Right. So I'm, I'm feeling a certain type of way about this one right here. You know what I'm saying? So Thanksgiving come around. I start, you know, packing up, getting ready to go visit my mom and my dad and all of them. I said, hey, uh, you know, Thanksgiving, mama wants you to come through. Come on through. Mama wants you to come through. Yeah. You hear this? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I did that. You I said that. Cry, nah. nah, nah. All right. <laughs> so I said, uh, cause she asked me, she said, uh, is she coming? I said, yeah. I can't, I wanna say a name, and normally we drop a lot of names. We got a strong fan base. We can't Stop. do that right here. Dude, you can't yeah. do it. Can't do dude. that right now. Dude. I can't do it. I can't do dude. that today. This one, this one. I wouldn't it. allow it. Yeah, don't. We can't do it. We might ruin a happy home right this now. This ain't even my shit, but I can't okay. let you do that. Mm -mm. Leave it be like my grandma. I'm, I'm kind of like, leave it be, leave I'm kind of like your lawyer too. Yeah, you got to make sure I don't incriminate myself. You're doing a good job. I don't so, know about uh, incriminating. So uh, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. I'm waiting on her to come through. It's three. We about to say the grace. You better fucking stop. So uh, <laughs> she hit me with the text. She's talking about, uh, I'm going to hit you as soon as I leave here. Oh, so, she never hit me. Yeah. So um, we go ahead and say that, Grace. I say, yeah, she, my mama asked me, so is she coming? I say, yeah, she, she coming. You know how it is. She probably had to stop, you know, running yeah. whatever. She said, if while she out, ask her to bring some sour cream. Oh, she not oh, she Yeah, she tasked. I sent a text. I said, hey, when you stop, when you're on the way in, can you grab some sour cream? It's 930. Bro, Ain't heard from nothing. Ain't nothing happening. I done took it. I done ate and fell asleep on the couch. Both the games game, went off. Nigga, last Both game games. on. It's, it's fourth quarter of the second game. I wake up. I'm trying to figure out, oh, shit, did she call? Nothing. Nothing. No text, no call, no nothing. She ain't said shit since I asked her about that sour cream. Nothing. <laughs> she didn't even reply to that. Nah. That was her first clue. That was my first clue, but I, I said, you know what? Bro, when she said, I'm going to take probably you when I leave here. Yeah. Oh, that was, that, that was the first. That was the first hey, clue she hey. made. Yeah. But what solidified <laughs> when she said that lets you told her to go get some sour cream and no and no she reply. Like, oh, fuck no. Listen, God damn sure ain't gonna look. I gotta go listen. somewhere. He didn't go get that dick. No. Oh fuck him. 
See, women like details too much. Mm -hmm. She said here. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't have said just here. She would have said where the fuck she was. I'm going to call you when I leave Home. such and such house yeah. or when I get in the car. Uh -uh. Here. You could be anywhere in the world. Here it, here it translates to I'm where I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand how to read that, Los. So I'm still sitting You weren't at supposed to. This is at a time where text messages were fairly new. Mm -hmm. Now, this was when we were still on text message plans. If, <laughs> if, <laughs> if I know, if I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm dating the story correct, yeah. I remember some yeah. niggas was only had 250 a month. Yeah. Some niggas had five. Some niggas had 700. But then, you know, like, Unlimited was like fifty dollars a month back then. Yeah, I had just got T-Mobile. Come on, boy. And I was unlimited with that thing. Unlimited oh. text, free nights and weekends. That's that's when the plan was ninety nine dollars. The plan was fucking fifty dollars. Then the unlimited text was another forty nine dollars. But you so know the you plan needed was ninety nine ninety nine. I used to fuck with T-Mobile. <laughs> I had the sidekick that flipped with the keyboard. Ooh. The you, Nokia. You can't tell me that when you had to plug the earpiece in and this one like this. Shut the fuck up. When hey. it had the little envelope with the wings on it. Woo. That thing Anything flung. with a button on it, I hate it. That phone. Uh, Nigga, on. when you had voicemails and you felt like a dope boy, you just used to sit back and check. Your, I'm checking my voicemail. Voice. <laughs> you hit it over again trying to figure out her tone and see if she really mad or not. Hold up, I'm bro. just calling you. Hey, listen to this. This my little light skin bit. Hey, you, hey. Nigga, come on, bro. You know what time this is. No I ain't got no voicemail, no text, no call, no nothing, Los. I know. So they start the dominoes up. Mama, stepdaddy, they in a domino. So it's really about 1030 now. No, it's 11 o'clock. Come on, and, 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 and my stepdaddy started talking shit. Uh, what, uh, what happened to the lights and thing? We'll come to your old boy. Mm -hmm. I said, ah. <laughs> and she said she was coming. Where's she at? Mama asked her sour cream, ain't seen sour cream, where yet? She ain't go. That basically is mean what's going on. He asked me in front of his partners on the pool table. So I'm I'm dealing with this. So now I'm kind of, you know, kind of kind of aggravated a little bit. So I went on a call, I said, hey, you good? Because I don't know really how to voice this. I'm passive aggressive. No, so you, I said, see, that is passive aggressive because now you're trying to act like you concerned. But really, you just hurt because you ain't heard room. You so hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but the fucked up part, though, he really is concerned, though. He's, he's concerned, more, but he's more hunting than he's concerned. <laughs> but the concern is the up front, right? Yeah. But the, but the concern is that, the, the, but the hurt. The hurt. I'm hurt because she ain't there. So he he tried I, to hit her with the concern so she could feel guilty and be like, right. oh, you did this shit to a right. nice guy? Mm -hmm. See, well, I'm going to let you finish, but I'm going to so let you know how we day, had two different psychologists. I done went all through this, all night, checking my phone. I thought I sent that second text. I, I, the, 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 the real nigga that's there, mm -hmm. he's, mi he's, he's a miniature at this moment because the bitch nigga in me is so strong. Mm -hmm. He's and, overpowered. And, and he's overpowered. Mm -hmm. The real nigga in me says, hey, you ain't calling and texting no more tonight. We shutting this shit down. Bitch nigga says. Wow. You bitch nigga says, keep calling and keep texting. Call you, <laughs> you, you don't, that's the thing, right? One of them options don't exist. You don't get to decide. When somebody's ignoring you, you are getting ignored. You don't get to decide when y'all through. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to reclaim whatever something I have. I, and so I say, all right, cool. Real nigga has a point. Let's just chill because right. we don't want to look weak. Anything could have happened. Could have lost her phone. Nope. I'm tripping. Nigga, you let crazy. Me, let, me, let, <laughs> let me figure it out nah. and get my shit together because I'm off right now. You off the whole fuck. next day goes by. I don't see nothing. One o'clock, I get a text. Hey, you up? You goddamn right I'm up. I've been up since seven this morning to get this phone <laughs> that you ain't texting <laughs> said shit too. Now, yeah, we go right from spending up. every day together for the past three months to now I ain't heard from you. It's been 18 hours. I don't know who you are right now. Yeah. You can look totally fucking you? different. Who bitch. are you? But that's cool, though. But I see what's happening. But I'm, I'm and I ain't really been fucking hoes like I should have. So now <laughs> I'm checking with the hoes. Right. Now, because I ain't got no, ain't no social media right now. So that means I got to go out to get hoes. But I've been in the house fucking with you every Friday and <laughs> Saturday night. And then coming home drunk fucking with you. Huh. I really ain't getting these hoes like I should be. Right. I'm slacking. Now I gotta go check up with my locals. I need to hit the blunt. No. He just took me back. Yeah. So I knew this shit was gonna end bad when you said you had to get them condoms. Yeah, yeah. So can't fall in love with a condom on. Hold. <laughs> so so we play phone tag back and forth the next couple of days about supposed to meet up. <clears throat> we finally meet up to go to the mall just to kick it. Oh, you see. This three days after Black Friday, mm -hmm. we like, it's probably some shit still out there. She works seasonally at uh, at Dillard's. 
She's like, hey, I'm going to go use my discount today if you want to go get some stuff. Come on. That was oh, my bait. Oh, I see why you did it. Have y'all even discussed? No, wait, 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 wait. It, this is a key, key element to this story that he ain't even told. She works seasonally at dealers. Hmm. You know what that tell me? What that tell? She got a fat ass. She do. She do. Told you. She do. <laughs> told you. Hold on. I just want you to break it down. Go ahead. <laughs> seasonal work. Okay. <laughs> Seasonal, bro. She make enough money <laughs> working one fourth of the year. <laughs> she straight. She straight. Bro, her ass so fat. Everybody want to see her make it through life. She good, she good she bro. Her money. mama putting money in her account everybody. every month. She a straight A student. Everybody. She got white teeth. <laughs> Good skin. All of that. Hips. Natural hair. Uh, Bruh, shit. the coach been trying to get on the track team since she came to school. She one of them. Uh, I feel you. But you already done, uh, bruh, one, you, one thing about it, you just, sometimes you just got to know when to give up. And I, and I didn't. So I let it, you I, 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 I met up much, with her. Too much She talent. gave me crazy discounted dealer. I done, cro- I done cop three Kennel Cole sweaters. Come on. Some Kennel Cole shoes. Bruh. And some T-shirts, some reaction T-shirts. She done pulled to the side that was clearance, then put an additional employee discount wait, on top wait, of wait, it. Wait, wait. That's a hell of an apology. Whatever she didn't do, that made up for it. She didn't bring that goddamn sour cream. That sour cream over with. That sour cream over with. Bro, you got to keep in mind, this is you at a, her. This is at a time he just named off designer shit. This hood, desi- big shit, though, this that, hood designer shit for a big. college like, nigga. Yeah. Do you understand like what she just supplied him with? She knew I needed enough some more resources shit. to yeah. get some more hoes. Mm-hmm. Right, and I and see, I didn't just see it as resources. I saw that she was she was taking care of me because at that point, the you only woman that bought bought clothes your mama was my mama. So, aside from the one chick in high school that got me wearing Versace Dream on. because she was rich, Come and on. I didn't know that we gave gifts that was that expensive. Don't worry about it. So I'm letting this I'm letting this all fly. So. We back at school, school back in, everything's cool again. I said, hey, look, it bothered me one night. I just jumped out and said, I Feelings. said, yeah. Red flag. Yeah, another red flag. <laughs> I'm drinking what, secret bumpy face gin. No, no, no. In that the don't dormitory. Matter. you supposed to be a real nigga. And, and, and them feelings, they crept in on me. I said, say, nah. man. The next you time. Can't, you can't get courage when you drink. That's some bitch shit. No, no, the bitch nigga you was in charge. You gotta have courage this time. all the time. Bitch nigga, bitch nigga called and said, I'm taking over Friday and Saturday. <laughs> so I don't know what you have planned. But I'm gonna be running shit this weekend. The real nigga got the weekend off. Wow. So real nigga is off this weekend. Bitch nigga is there third. He shows up early. So Thursday. you mean to tell me the bitch nigga and you showed up like, uh uh-uh. uh, ask that bitch what happened to the stop of <laughs> Fuck this bitch. So let me tell you how it happens. I'm drinking. My mama called me, asked me about my right. I said, yeah, I'm over here. We kicking it. She said, oh, okay. Well, y'all tell her I said, what's up? I said, okay, cool. Hang right up. I said, yeah, my mama said, what's up? And she said, next time you ain't going to bring the sour cream, you should just say you're not going to bring the sour cream. She bring that sour cream back. It's so, so, no, my mama ain't say none of this. This me, well, this, this me as a bitch ass nigga. And this is bitch shit. Yeah. This is a three yeah. strike sassy. violation. Yeah. This is a, yeah, he being sassy. Hold up. This is a three strike violation. He being sassy. First of all. <laughs> God damn right, that's the perfect word, sassy. Sassy. You in your feelings. And let me tell you something. If you want somebody to get sassy with you, <laughs> give us a call. call. Three, two, three. Three, eight, five. Nine, nine seven, three, four. four. We'll get somebody, somebody over there to you. Sassy yeah, with your sassy, we'll, we'll get sassy. Get so, so you in your feelings. Yeah. You sassy. You sassy. Mm-hmm. And you just lied on your mama. You lied <laughs> clean on his mama. Hey. For some pussy. <laughs> you allow your mama. <laughs> For some pussy. <laughs> Bro, did man. I not tell you nigga, that man. real yeah, nigga had the weekend like off? Said my mama said. Bro, we need a break <laughs> right here. It's supposed to be a break. Hey, look, did I not tell you that real nigga had the weekend off? <laughs> Bitch uh, nigga said he was running shit Thursday to Sunday. This nigga, yeah. <laughs> my mama said. <laughs> so she says, look, I'm going to just tell you. I, I meant to tell you, but I didn't tell you, but I'm going to just tell you. We ain't really talked about this. I got somebody I've been off and on with. I said, oh, shit. 
Okay. So hit, you want me to translate? Nigga, yeah. here it go. So it go. when a woman I, I don't know that what she to do. off and on with another nigga, she says yes, no. That they and, are off and on. Yeah. But it's mostly on. Mm-hmm. They, they might be off and on relationship-wise. Nigga. That's what <laughs> yeah, hey. it's so hey. yeah, but that's consistent. This is yeah. the thing. They it, they fucking just enough. Cause he got about three more other bitches. The other nigga that she fucking, he's a way greater nigga than you. <laughs> Just know that. Just know that yeah. the bitches that you he find. He was older. He was, oh, he was, a, he on, was a year older. And what this I didn't know was. had muscles in places you ain't developed yet. What, what I didn't realize was he was on line to pledge Alpha at the time oh, at another college. So that mean he was definitely not paying no attention right now. This should have been easy right. work. Guess what? So. This is as the story progresses, she tells me that she says, yeah, there's a lot been going on. I ain't been getting the time that I wanted and I'm really feeling you and I fuck with you and I'm gonna keep talking to you and nobody gonna stop me from talking to you. She was older than you. Not even you. She a year older than me. He a year older than her. So it's three years extra worth of game in here that I ain't experienced yet. I don't, even gotta, hit, I don't even gotta hear the rest of this shit to tell you what it is. So I know the di- I know the diagnostics right now. Yeah, shit rolls downhill. So, <laughs> so it rolls downhill. She, you don't see what she did? She, she shit rolls downhill. She here told me, she said, tight. so delay, she said. Los, I'm sitting there, man. I'm taking it all in. I'm being, I'm being, hey, I'm, I'm all in right now. So she says, I ain't never had no woman to me. She says, look, what we and him have and have had is over here. What me and you got is right here. She says, I don't want to stop talking to you. I'm not going to stop talking to you. I fuck with you. I come home to you every day. I make you food. I spend time with you. I wash your clothes. What else do I got to let do to let you know I'm down with you? I said, fuck, I ain't never heard no girl tell me she was down with me. Had a girl tell me she liked me. Had a girl tell me she loved me. I ain't never heard a girl tell me she was down with me. So I had to evaluate what it was that I was really tripping over. I saw I'm tripping. Fall back. Whole rest of the semester go by smooth. We get to Christmas. It's a big day. Big day again. It's a big day. Because you missed that last holiday. It's a big fucking day for you. She says, hey, I want to do gift swapping. Can we do it early on Christmas Day? <laughs> I said, yeah, but I thought we was going to go to the movies tonight. She was like, yeah, we can, but I got to take my little cousin ice skating in the Galleria. So I'm thinking maybe we do our movie night tomorrow night so I can go ice skating. Okay. All right. You want to skate? Okay, cool. I say, uh... All right, she comes by mama house, hangs out for a little bit. We get swap, everything, everything, everything. My uncle, my, my stepdaddy friends is there. He talking about, yeah, she got ass on the boy. She fine, I see what you're doing. Daddy see, see again, hey boy, y'all looking good out there. It's good. I say, you know what? I ain't staying here tonight, Christmas night. I'm going to the movies, then I'm gonna go have a drink. I go, I have a drink. I decide, you know what? I'm gonna go by my dorm. I don't need to really go all the way back to my mama's house. I'm going to go by there. I get back to the dorm. I pass. I got to pass by her apartment to go to my apartment. I see her light on. I say, damn, the light on. She must have left that light on. That boy, that boy concerned about the power. <laughs> now, you supposed to be at home with your family. <laughs> that boy concerned about the power. <laughs> that was shit. She left that goddamn light on here. This the bathroom light. This the light in the bathroom. That's man, the that was the whole point of him going back, man. Uh, so I ain't worried about it. He done I already lied room. on his mama. Chill. <laughs> I don't put nothing past this nigga at this point. <laughs> hey, this nigga, ah, went, nigga, hey, nigga, hey, nigga hey, ain't the victim story. to me no more. He's the victim to me. He deserve this shit. You ah, <laughs> don't know how to act. Every time she put this pussy on, you get to act up. Yeah, you get to act up. <laughs> Shouldn't have put that goddamn soft motherfucker on you. You stupid. <laughs> so, so look, this bitch driving Camaro, all type of flat shit. <laughs> she looked like the richest bitch you ever had. <laughs> Hey, her car work every time she used it. Bitch. <laughs> hey, every time. Oh, so look, man. Whole day go by the next day. I'm texting. I'm saying, hey, what time we linking up? 
quiet, quiet, quiet. I'm in the house all day. I'm on the phone talking to people. My mom and them, they done got busy. My daddy out running around. I'm still chilling at the crib. I go, I leave, I go shoot basketball with some of my partners, come back to my door and pick up some more clothes. I'm gonna stay at my family house tonight after we hang out. Nothing. I'm leaving out my apartment complex. That light is off. It's fucking with me. Cause you with your family, who turned your light off in your bathroom? The same motherfucker that turned it on. Right. Now nah, starting to starting to get weird. Oh, okay. You in college night. at this point? Yeah, I'm in college. This 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 on campus. We in Greystone. I'm pulling out of Greystone. <laughs> I'm leaving out of Greystone. I'm going back to my mama's house. That light is fucking with me. I said, her roommate is from Dallas. She ain't even here for Christmas. This nigga's doing the bad. So yeah. whoever <laughs> turned the light on got a key. And you the only person got a key. So who got the key to your house? That's to turn your light off. <coughs> That's bothering me. Text me back, 1020. Oh man, you know I was so sleepy today. I gotta catch up. I had to catch up on it. Uh, what time are we trying to go to the movies tonight? I said, hey, last movie is at 11.05. We definitely ain't gonna make that. So I guess we're gonna have to try again for tomorrow. But where you at? I wanna see you. She says, okay, we can meet up for food. We're gonna go to Ruchi's. I meet at Ruchi's on South Main. Mm-hmm. We talking. Got a couple margaritas in our system. Yeah, yeah. I'm again, this tequila. And it's gin. It always bring it to the surface. It come that feeling. It come the check. I got the check. Pay that check. Check ain't for $30. I'm good. I say, uh, your light on. Then it was off. What's up with that? Off the rip. <laughs> Out of nowhere. She said, Let's talk about it. She said, you know what? That light in that bathroom, <laughs> stay flickering. <laughs> I done changed the bulb four times. It's off and on. Stay flickering. I said, huh? She had all the answers, though. She got all these goddamn answers. Oh, D-Lay. You can't you. miss her. D-Lay. Don't worry about nothing he talking about. She got everything. I got a rebuttal, nigga. What, what happened to it? Ghost. Ghost, ghost, nigga. It's flickering. And, 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 and stand in. Ghost. <laughs> and fuck with light. In all of my 19 years, I ain't seen no light just flicker on and off like that. I'm wondering, it's, it's got to be a safety fire hazard, something with this bathroom. <laughs> this shit is crazy. So she ain't got no car. She's like, well, drop me off over here. I drop her off on South Main. I oh, say, wait, wait, where's over here? Not her apartment. Not her apartment, <laughs> not her mama house. Over here. She said, yeah, me and my home, my homegirls, we finna do gift swapping because we gonna change gifts, so I'm gonna hit you later. Don't hear for the rest of the fucking weekend. I remember where the fuck I dropped her off at. Seen which way she walked. I said, all right. Well, remember that. That's in there. Monday comes around, it's almost close to New Year's. I say, hey, so we doing something for New Year's? What you got up? I ain't talked to her in three days at this point. She says, yeah, um, let's meet up, we going here. So from probably the 29th, 30th on, till it's time to go back to school, everything cool. The weekend before we start school back, Thursday she get missing again. I can't take it at this point. I'm driving out my apartment complex again. Got them light on again. Say, yeah. Who the fuck over here? <laughs> Somebody at this spot. I come over there, I knock on that door. No answer. Then I hear, sound like somebody coming to the door. I hear her come up to the door. And I hear is, shit. I hear her say shit out loud. I knock again. I say, hey, girl, stop playing. Come over this door now. Shit, it's cold out here. She ain't playing. She ain't playing, bitch. Nigga, 10 minutes go by. See, she ain't playing. She ain't came back to this door. I knock on this door some more. I say, hey, you fucking around now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you wild. You wild. After 10 minutes, you still think she's fucking around? I got a call. She, she wild. She I wild. Say, you, I, I say, you wild. You wild. Her house. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck she got? <laughs> wait, wait, that's that Man. woman, wait a minute, that is that woman's house, he talking about, she wild, she wild, it's cold out here, what she mean? wilding cause it's cold out here, that's her house, she don't want you in there, like if it she wasn't cold wilding. out here, this would just be regular, she just playing, she ain't wilding, she at home, 
<laughs> and she got company. <laughs> so look, you damn right somebody in there. I knock at that door again. Door creaks open. She sticks her head out, got a head scarf on. What's up? I say, it's raining and it's cold. That's what's up. Got this motherfucker like orange juice Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you gonna open that door or you want a nigga to freeze? <laughs> Just right, I followed you. <laughs> Just right, I followed you. <laughs> Stone cold busted. <laughs> Stone cold busted. That's right, I followed you. <laughs> hey, so D, she talking about what's up? I said, what you mean, what's up? It's cold. She said, he over here right now. I'm going to come through there later and see your phone. Oh, shit. I walked away from the door, heart beating fast. <laughs> <laughs> she said, answer my phone like I was in on it. So I'm like, all right. I sit in my house, nigga. I'm watching TV. I'm playing Madden. One of my, my roommate, he done came back by the house. He got a little bitch supposed to come through there. He done brought the bitch by there. She got one of her friends socializing. The whole time I'm looking at my phone. Damn, she ain't called me. It's been two hours. I say, uh, she got me fucked all the way up. <laughs> the two girls and my, my roommate, they're like, man, come on, we finna go get some drinks. Let's roll out. I say, yeah, we driving out. The light's still on. You heard, you heard the pain? I say, you know what? Let I, me hold on, how you say yeah? I said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm with it. So we driving out the apartment complex. I see that light still on. I say, stop the car, let me out. They said, what's up? I said, now let me out. Hey, bro, how you say yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, no. let me out. <laughs> what? Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> So I get out this car. I say, DJ, you want me to wait on? Do you want us to wait on you? I say, yeah, wait on me. I go to that door. I'm beating hard. I done went turn backwards. I'm kicking that motherfucking door. I'm open this door, bitch. You got me fucked up. Thank God I'm waiting on you to answer this phone. So she opened the door. She said, hey, I told you I'd give you a call. What's up? I said, you got me fucked up. <laughs> she said, what you talking about? I said, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You got me fucked up. You think I'm fucking stupid? What are you talking about? Yeah, she acting like you don't know. She don't know what the fuck you talking. From inside the apartment, I hear, open the door. What's the nigga talking about? Oh shit. Door slides open. This is the tallest, lankiest, long nigga I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Yep. But let me tell you who's in control right now. Bitch, nigga, have taken the complete back seat. <laughs> Real nigga has a cape on and says, who else want to fuck with Hollywood Cole? <laughs> you heard what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. I said, you got me fucked up. Now, if it's a problem, my nigga, you can come out here and say something about it. She get, He gets quiet. <clears throat> she says, you tripping. I said, no, I'm not tripping. I said, if you're fucking with this nigga, just say you're fucking with the nigga. But don't be fucking me when the nigga ain't around and then when he around, you ain't fucking with me. He telling and shit. <laughs> he out there telling, now he telling. Hey, he telling the, the, hey, the nigga went from victim 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to he tell you. played several characters in this book. He is telling his mama. Hey, man. He <laughs> lied on his mama. <laughs> nigga lied on his mama for this bitch, bro. She says, I told you what's up. And the nigga proceeds to start arguing with her saying, see, that's the shit I'm talking about. I'm finna get my shit. He walk into the back. I walk to the car. I drive off. Ride, I'm not driving, but I ride off with them. But the whole time he's driving off, he checking his phone to see if this regular ass girl gonna call him. So now, he go to he go to the next part, Carlos. You hurt. Oh, I'm hurt. But guess what? I didn't come, I've been confronted with it. I know exactly what it is now. I'm all right with it. I'm I'm gonna really? turn up. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> <coughs> now you got the full story. I've been new. <laughs> I knew when the bitch didn't bring this out for cream. This out cream. <laughs> this out cream was a dead giveaway. And I don't want nobody to think that we de uh, like degrading women, but if she don't, if she tell your mama that she bringing sour cream and she don't bring it, 
<laughs> That's a bitch. I don't give a damn. It's Thanksgiving. It's a, it's Come Thanksgiving, on. Man. Everybody waiting on that sour cream. Come on, man. She Look, up. she don't know what that was for. Man, that sour cream. <laughs> that might have been she the sour cream, cream then. Finish some <laughs> shit. Yeah. That was a spicy. It was definitely, it was definitely like, something to finish. Come shit. on. Hey, she, it was a One dollar. <laughs> you could have dropped the sour cream off and left. <laughs> Man, look, Man. look. Okay, we, now you know what's going on. Okay, it's four uh, four days has gone by. I ain't worrying about it. I'm doing me. I'm hurting, but I'm, I'm doing hurt. me. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Woo! Hurt. She finally show up. We 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 the, the day before we start school back. Right. She show up. Right. At my door knocking. I open the door halfway. I said, "What's up?" Ain't nobody in my apartment. Right. But I ain't open the door. I said, "What's up?" Um. Uh, you gonna let me in? I said, no, nah, I got somebody over here. You have to come back later. Closed the door, locked it. Sat there, watched music videos by myself. <laughs> that shit felt good, bro. It did. It 12 did. seconds. And he ain't mm-hmm. coming in. Then I wanted to call and, and tell her it wasn't nobody in their apartment because the only person I'm trying to fuck with right now is you. Pussy. She wants some bullshit. Pussy. So I let it ride. Right. She come back again. Knock, knock, knock. Open the door halfway. I said, what's up? She said, uh, you done or you, what you doing? She said, I know what you're doing. You ain't got nobody in there. You're just trying to be mean to me. That's all it is. Damn. Because you're mad. Call this nigga. Fuck I out. said, I got somebody in here. Now leave me alone. <laughs> and that leave me alone was so unconvincing. Yeah. I closed that door in the face, locked it, sat down. She stood there for three minutes, then walked away. 15 minutes go by. She come back over. Knock, 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 knock again. Open the door. I said, Hey man, what's up? <clears throat> you know what she says? She says, look, open the door, pushes past me, walks in the house, sets on the couch. Oh, you need to change better. I say, man, you can't just be barging in my house like this. She's like, you mad at me because you knew I had a boyfriend. And you couldn't accept it. And I was keeping it real with you. I told you I was down with you. And you didn't have to do that. I said, so I guess I'm just, what? What am I to you? Damn. I got to know. Because I don't know. I don't know. I'm wrong. Who I mean, all in wrong. I, I asked. Who is this nigga, man? You said, what am I to you? I did. I did ask, what am I to you? You said, what am I to you? That's her line. I need you. She's to supposed define to say me. that. I need you to define me. I, I don't know who's driving right now. The bitch nigga, real nigga. I have no control, no idea. She, she's in control. She's in control. The car is driving. The car is it's one of them auto driving Tesla. So I'm fucked up. I don't have nothing. I have nothing for her in response to this shit she's saying to me. She is right, right, and right, and more right. Mm-hmm. And then she says something crazy to me that made me feel like I was something. She said, you can't help who you fall in love with. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> I said, what are you talking about? OK, if you love him, then be with him. She said, no, I'm in love with you. You can't help who you fall in love with. Oh, fuck. I was done, bro. Got you. I knew it. Got me. I knew it. I'm right back in. I knew it. I'm tongue kissing and everything. God damn it. Hey, not only that. I'm disgusted right now. <laughs> hey, hey, look. We, we, we face the fuck, hey, we face the face fucking to slow music the whole way. Re- I fucked to Luther. Anytime you fuck to Luther, you really meant, you can't, you only supposed to fuck to Luther when you got like a 50th anniversary of a wedding or something. That's, that is shit the elderly people fuck to, to just let each other know, I still care. We I love three you. years. I love Got you. you. We all of that. Now, I done, I done full on, I done full on jumped all the way in this thing. I'm over there hanging out with her daddy. Oh, yeah. I'm helping him cut squirrel meat. Oh, I'm doing all yeah. type of wild shit. I'm, man, I'm buying cars for mama for Mother's Day. And we going through through it. This is my gal. I don't give a fuck. So what? You got that nigga. I don't care. I'm, I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, this boy offline, though. It's probate time. <laughs> Oh shit, it's time to be freed up again. AKA Alpha Party. He in the party, <clears throat> he's stepping. 
I come outside at the party, hoes on my dick, lows I'm feeling like somebody. I see her like agitated. I said, what's wrong? You ain't having a good time? She said, no, nah, they got me fucked up. She walks up to this nigga. I didn't recognize, damn, this nigga right there. He's stepping in the party. We get out the party, he right in the parking lot. She runs up on the nigga talking to one of the AK bitches up on the car. She say, oh, this the bitch you fucking with? You got me fucked up. She start going all the way off on a nigga. Hold I'm on, seeing me, this shit. Let me catch up with everybody who fucked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> At this point in the story, you watching the chick who you think is your chick argue with another chick about another nigga that you don't, you just refuse to acknowledge? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what, what are you a part of? So, <laughs> so I see what she doing. I put my head down, I leave. I said, they ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm out. It really don't, though. I'm gone. Niggas keep stopping me. Hey, man, your girl about to get into a fight over there, man. You, you might want to go get her. I said, nah, that ain't my gal. No, 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 your girl. Your, <laughs> your girl. Your girl. The one you be with. The one you be with. She about to fight some, some AKAs, and I think they might jump her. I say, she got it. I leave. She, it. <laughs> she with her other boyfriend right now. <laughs> she be all right. Nigga, from that day forward, I was on a barrage of <clears throat> recklessness. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking anything I can. Foes, fives. At that 80% rate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I'm out here bad. I'm out <laughs> here all bad. Dog, right? Oh, don't, act like, dog, don't right? act like, don't act like. You turned into a savage. No, 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 no. I am hurt. I'm crying. She depleted I'm... your self-esteem. She did. And I had to go rebuild myself on the shoulders and backs of mediocre women <laughs> across the city of Houston. That is a long-ass story to say that. We knew that. <laughs> we knew that. I knew that. But it... I knew that when you said that you couldn't figure out who turned the light on. Yeah, I couldn't figure that out. Well, you you t <laughs> she refused she refused to acknowledge the fact that I was I was in a different place when she started coming back around. Man, and we it was raining. She said it's raining, it's cold down here. Our gas off. My roommate didn't pay our gas. It's bill. a motor this shit. Here it is. Hold on, but let me catch you up on something. You touched on a lot of a lot of fucking valid key points in real nigga wisdom. One thing about college. Ain't nobody your girlfriend. Nobody is your girlfriend. Nobody. It, nobody your girlfriend and boyfriend don't even exist, exist Bruh. nowhere. Bruh. Ain't it's it. pretend. I had to learn the hard way. Mm -mm. <clears throat> you can't you can't do that. Mm -mm. I'm disappointed in you. At my 19-year-old self. I mean, yeah. But I just don't. Mm. I was 19 too. You was. That ain't no excuse. No, it's not. <laughs> Poor, poor, poor and I feel performance. like I feel like you took what I said earlier and you just applied it to that. That don't apply the same. Way. <laughs> no, man, you got me mad a little bit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought this was a story where you were gonna um, bring it full circle. Oh no, it, you let a bitch do you like that at a point in your life where your testosterone was the highest, bro. You what? Nineteen? You was out here in love? Yeah, you was a late bloomer, my nigga. Yeah, and, and you know what? And that, that was the first time I had acknowledged to myself that I I was the side nigga, and she told me. No, nah, I can't let you claim that. It's not acknowledgeable. No, nah, you wasn't no side nigga. Because acknowledgeable would have no. been I was dealing with it willingly. You just forced yourself into a situation. <laughs> you really ungrateful. <laughs> and that's what I was I was going to say earlier. Because I said, you don't see what she did? You the new nigga at school. She really just wanted to fuck you before all the other hoes did. And you should have just took the pussy and wore it proudly like like a... Like you was, you reached up a level, but no, nah, you thought that that was gonna be your girlfriend. She couldn't put you in a position to be her fucking boyfriend. You lame, you green, you don't even know your way around school. Oh, God. Yeah, work. this bitch, yeah, she just seasonal. Do seasonal. I don't, I don't work, even bro. do this. Why you think she works That's seasonal? What work. That tall ass nigga, he ain't in the league league, but he <laughs> play ball some goddamn. Well, do you understand that niggas is out here playing ball? Why you think he gone? That nigga in China. <laughs> <laughs> he don't make a million, but that nigga makes seven hundred thousand when he bring it back. Tax free. And then he be at home for three months and ride around on them goddamn twenty whatever biggest fucks, giving mama some money, come fuck the shit out of his little bitch, and then he back to China. That's why she was fucking with the nigga who online. He had a future. You was the new nigga. See, one thing about being a cold-ass nigga is you got to know exactly who the fuck you are. 
at all. You got, times. bruh. Sometimes you just gotta sit down and be real with yourself. This bitch does not like me. I'm not yeah. shit to like. I can't feed this bitch. <laughs> she got a lot of money. She got a car nicer than mine. She got big titties. Every time I take her somewhere, she know everybody. Bruh, you just don't recognize. I'm, you need I'm to fall back. You got to anything. fall back. You thought that was your girlfriend. You all on campus. You telling your homeboys. You flexing. You really run. You telling too much. Trying to be seen. I'm holding. I'm, you, I'm, I'm see, that's what that's your diagnosis. You want the glory too fast. And, and, and you know, you got, it's a long road. I'm from Mississippi. You got. We're from the south. You got to slow grind everything. Everything. You don't be out here telling nobody. <laughs> I'll, I'll check my girlfriend out. You let her do that. You call all the feelings. You was like you see, you was a real bitch ass nigga. I was. It was yeah, but was, you can't be doing that. You can't. Yeah. She taught you a lesson that's so valuable. This she, is affecting you. You don't like this. No. I just, I'm just saying. Like, I feel like he didn't appreciate. Like, he could. That was a pivotal moment. It, it was very. See, you know what it is? It's a teachable moment. No, it's okay. a, like that it, shit it that she taught you. Okay. She was showing you game the whole time, and you was refusing to acknowledge it. And you, that light meant something. Mm. That was the signal. She mm. knew you was around there creeping. The light meant, hey, not right now. She had the light, we fake sleep. I know it ain't sleep time, but don't hit me. Mm -hmm. You don't pay attention to the it. signs. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. You, you gotta know, be a young boy scout out here. I got, you know, and I wasn't a boy scout. You I was, I was, I was a child playing. You ever seen the movie Rambo? Day. Yeah. One thing you gotta do. Rambo is, one. One thing blood. you gotta do, like I feel like to be the real nigga you talking about, you wanna be in that story, you gotta do like Rambo did. You gotta know that. You the shit, right? You gotta know that you could do all the shit that you need to do to survive. It ain't about how good it look. Nigga, you got one knife. They gotta do every goddamn thing. You gotta cut the arrow with that you knife. You gotta do everything with that knife. Think, think, about, boy. think about what that means symbolically, nigga. You got one knife, nigga. You can't let nothing happen to that motherfucker. So whatever come through that bitch, you just got, hey, you gotta survive that bitch just like Rambo. Tell yourself you ain't shit. Survive every goddamn thing. This bitch ain't gonna go get the sour cream. You knew that. You should have jumped up, grabbed that right quick so you don't look stupid. Man, you know how these bitches do. Come on. But you ain't know. He was 19. No. And this nigga got the whole Burberry scar, so he know. <laughs> I feel like we can't correct it, but it's in the past, but. No, you gotta, you gotta, see what you know how part of it is? You gotta be honest with yourself. When you didn't win, you didn't right. win. But That's guess what. what? Here's, here's the thing. There's some young man out there, 19, right now. Yeah. A yeah. needing to know. Right. A young, tender ass nigga. We don't have moments like this. But through you. Bro, if you're 19, you it ain't have a. To go through listen. It. Through your wisdom. Be lame as hell. Fuck being cool. <clears throat> if you got the opportunity to better yourself, don't ruin it for no pussy. And don't lie on your mama for nothing. <laughs> Ever. In life. If, if that's more of the story. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> And it, it, it's See, tough this because thing. when you when you holiday time, it's it's a, it's that almost like that don't mean shit. It don't you mean you a man. Yeah. You a daddy at this point in life. That's no, what I was saying I earlier. Holidays don't mean shit. You pay for that shit. You pay for we it. We men. That don't you don't you're not the nigga who's supposed to be the one trying to goddamn capture the memories and be symbolic. That's how you get Alzheimer's and heart attacks and puss ass shit. You just pay for that shit. And make sure keep going. Yeah, make, make sure, sure, keep, make make sure, sure it's keep. two goddamn turkeys in the house. Everybody warm. It's some, some warmth and some food in that mother. Yeah, That's yeah. what you, you do. You gotta make sure man. that everybody can can sustain themselves right. in a livable condition. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the mall. Okay. I'm at home visiting. Here you go with this shit, bro. Fuck that bitch at this point. No, no, no. <laughs> it's it's so enough. much more show we could talk about. It's no more bitch. Bitch is gone. She gone. We ain't even know how she left. With that nigga. <laughs> Did you miss her? <laughs> he said, he hey, said bro. Did you miss her? Hey, you in, know, that's in not... concussion, hey man. That one thing about men, we do love the ones that, that treat us the worst because that's how we are. What what is worse though? Like is there when, is there really no, a worse? You know what I don't it know. is? It's oh, really yeah, one of those life-type metaphors, man. You like a motherfucker. You, you got to, as much as you give it, you like to take it. Not it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when that sound fucked up because we live in a fucking crazy-ass world, but whatever you give, like, you, you think you're doing some sneaky shit or you think you got three bitches or you think you're the only one, and that's the male ego. That's the pride because you can't even conceive that I'm this nigga. How she going to find another nigga that she like as much as she like me? 
So you just start overlooking the other shit. And you start taking advantage of like, fuck it, I got her, she in. Now let me find what else is in. So you think you got three that's in, but you can't be at three places at one time. They mm. doing some other shit. You feel me? So you don't have enough. Look, bro, the way God set the world up, he gave us 24 hours or whatever, however long it takes for it to get dark. You don't have enough time to give a woman. You don't have enough attention to give her. You can't do it by yourself. You can't. You, it's impossible. I don't give a fuck how many pictures you like, how many comments you leave. It's a hundred niggas who beat you to that. <laughs> you can't do it. Do you understand that women ain't even fucking with relationships right now? You be like, look, I'll be your, we could do whatever, whatever, but you gotta cut this, whatever you doing out. Quit getting naked every day on the. No, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm, not about to, I'm not cutting all my attention off for of one nigga. No, fuck you. And it's a thousand million, fourteen thousand comments. Fuck, fuck you, nigga. It's then it's gonna be the, the nigga who show up and just like you say, I don't give a fuck what them comments say. <laughs> That's the nigga who gonna win, bro. The How nigga who can, who can persevere. Bro, it's a whole Einstein formula to this shit. What doesn't bother you? That's what's gonna, I always get stuck on the fact that people who be in open relationship, fuck who you wanna fuck. What do they argue about? Shit that ain't got nothing to do with fucking. It ain't got nothing to do with fucking, do you feel what I'm saying? It ain't no perfect way to do this shit. I don't need, I don't know. Sometimes we might just be forcing it, man. You, she gave you the raw. She gave you exactly what you wanted. See, that's what, it, that's what God was trying to put in your face and you, you ignored it. Even when you get exactly what you want, you gonna want some other shit. She gave you the pussy raw and uncut. You ain't gotta do none of that boyfriend shit. Cold bitch, get this pussy whenever you want to. But in the daytime, I'm seasonal work. <laughs> this just your season right now. You the new fly nigga on campus. All the bitches you got a buzz with the little with the other with the older chicks that you don't even know about. Yeah. They they giving you the cold shoulder, but they talking you up in the circle. So bam, guess what? I'm already, yeah, by, yeah, that's me already, yeah. So by the time you alpha nigga, basketball nigga, your future sophomore, whatever, whatever, you, she already got a bid in. You was a bid. She was pledging. Not to put it into, you know what I'm saying? She, it's a bid. You, she you was a bid. bid. She, she, hey, she you was a freshman, bro. She put it, she, she sold, she sold a seed. Man. Is it? And it always says, thou shall reap what you well, Come on, man. So, Sometimes you get used hey, to. I, we good on that one. He, that call back on that. Did, hey. you miss, did you miss her? Hey, did you miss her? <laughs> that's, hey. that's it. Okay, that's it. That, hey, that's it. That's yeah. it. Hey, yeah, hey. that's perfect. That was it. Did you miss her? Hey, did nigga. Her? Hilarious. That's good. What we got on the time? That's your life, man. Damn. Shit. Long story. Fuck, but, but you see, know what that's it was? The thing, we still stopping it. We yeah. broke it up. Mm -hmm. It worked. But see, this is, you lose track of time because we we really know each other and we really just carrying on how we do. That pizza time. You had a long ass story, Billy. You really love it. That. Yeah, that's. Hey man, thank y'all for watching the Did You Miss Me podcast, man. We really for sure. appreciate y'all, man. Everybody here. For me, the ability to side mode to earn this, man. Thank y'all for watching. We got plenty of stuff that's cooking for y'all, man. We want to let y'all know where to find more things about Did You Miss Me Podcast. Hey, man, click the subscribe button up top, man. Make sure you follow us on all social media. We on Instagram. Hit us up. D-Y-M-M. Yeah. Hit us there. Podcast. That's it. Yeah. We in there. You got to follow us. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe. Like. Share. Comment. Man, let us know what your favorite stories are. Damn. We here. And now, don't and don't forget to give number. us a call. Get the number, man. Don't you ever forget it. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you.